Hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and this is the Farm Life Bundle. And as always, if you enjoy watching stuff like this, like and subscribe. Now, first off, we got the Grain Silo, which is on sale. And it's not part of the bundle, but it's obviously meant to be with this concept as well. Now, I have to say, while this is not super flashy, it is a nice, large-sized prefab. In fact, it might be one of the biggest usable space prefabs. I mean, as you can see, I can also jump up on the roof. I could easily put turrets up here. It does not snap, but it was not that difficult to line up. It's just a little bigger than three wide. But it's got these wonderful little sliding doors. It actually has a much larger entrance. As you can see here, the doors actually take up a good piece of it. But, you know, all in all, good design work on that. But if you come in here and look, I mean, it is quite large in here. I mean, you figure this little square uh, concrete area, that shows it's an, almost an entire foundation. If they're using the same size foundations, it is a three by two design. And all in all, it's pretty much, like I said, one of the most large scale usable spaces. Not super pretty, but it does look like you're living in a barn. And the upstairs, I mean, you could easily build an entire, you know, bedroom set up here. All of your crafting tables downstairs. My only real complaint is if you have windows, they should be see-through unless it's some sort of tinted glass type mechanic that's designed to be tinted, but I think this would have added a lot more to it if they would have made it see-through. As for other things in this pack, we've got the outdoor shower. As you can see, it's got its own little animation. It is mildly concerning to me that that water goes in so clear and comes out glow in the dark green at the bottom. A little concerned about my character's health and welfare. But, I mean, this is a brilliant looking shower. It's got the steam, it's got the effects of the water hitting the ground, the water rushing out of the top. All in all, really nicely done. It has that very Fallout feel to it. You know, it's... I think this is the better choice of the two showers. If you're a person that likes building more in-game style stuff that makes it feel like it's part of the world, you know, you could see someone slapping this together in the apocalypse to try to take care of themselves. We got the worm farm here. Now, unfortunately, this does not do anything mechanically, which made me a little sad. I was really hoping it did. But it's got such a nice look to it. You see it's been built up. It's got little moving worms in it. I think they should have probably slowed that animation down just a bit. Those worms look like they're maybe uh, tripping on buff tats or something. Uh, but it's got this wonderful water trick going down. I mean, it's got everything. The glass looks nice. Well, it sometimes does some weird glass textures, but this, I mean, look at this. It's got the perfect amount of shine, the perfect amount of see-through. I really hope this is what they use as their reference for glass in the future, but, you know, this is really a nice, you know, all together. I said, if, see, I'll turn my light on here, and you can even see the layered texture of the dirt. And even this little metal sheet. I mean, all in all, very nicely done. We got our stuffed, probably pre-war turkey, because no part of me believes that there's an animal with this much feathers running around West Virginia at this point. But lots of detail, good design work on the wings. You're building a hunting lodge or a farming lodge or anything like that. Very nicely done. You can see the texture on the upper parts of it. I mean, really good stuffed turkey. Then we got the two chairs. Both have nice texture works on it. You can actually get in pretty close, see the grain work. 
in the darker styled green work. They have a really nice sit down animation. I mean, you can see that your character is really, really lounging around. Let me switch over to the camera mode. I mean, you can see this. This is a nice, relaxed type style. Has a great looking animation on it. Character's just chilling. At the same time, both these chairs look like they belong in the wasteland. I mean, they have that rustic style. They've got, you know, the fact that they look like they've survived the apocalypse. And with that, that is this week's bundle. And I hope this helped out and so you can see and uh, have a good week.